Hey guys, um, I just wanted to hop on here for a minute or two. I'm out here in my yard pruning sago palms. We moved here about two years ago, knew nothing about sago palms. People that have seen these things said they're huge, bigger than they usually get. Um, don't know, uh, didn't know anything about them, but they definitely do not look very healthy right now. Let me show um, so here's number one. He's a little bit more healthier than, than the other one I've already been working on. And so you see this one over here has a lot of uh, yellow dead um, leaves on it that need to uh, be pruned. But made me start thinking, as you can see, I've already trimmed a lot a lot um, of leaves off, <laughs> off this tree. Um, and a lot of these dead dead things have been just falling off as I as I continue to go around it but if you look up into the tree underneath these healthy branches um, there's just a lot of like I said I'm not sure what they are but it's dead and it's old and um, this needs to it, it needs to be cleaned up and it just started getting me to think you know that's what that's what we need to do God um, desires to clean us up. He desires to um, develop in us the fruit of his spirit, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, uh, goodness, gentleness, meekness, self-control. So when I was, when I was uh, pruning these things, I was looking at the mess and it just started me thinking about, you know, so many times we hide things. Um, we have a lot of hidden junk we have a lot of hidden debris in our uh, heart, and that's not God's desire. God's desire is to make us new, to get rid of the debris, to get rid of all that junk, the bitterness, the unforgiveness that we cling to, that we hang on to. And, um, you know, we think that we have the right to do that. We think that um, we're, we're doing good to somebody, but all that is a lie. All that is false. And... You know, the enemy, Satan, wants us to continue to hide and and um, not get rid of the debris that's in our heart. But that's not God's desire for us. And uh, there, uh, scripture in Psalm 51 says that he desires truth in the inward parts and wisdom in the, in the hidden parts. And then you think of John 15 where he talks about abide in me and and uh, those branches that don't, they, they get cut off and, and burned. But if we continue to abide, we get pruned. This sago tree is getting pruned today. And once it's pruned and all this stuff in here is, is cleaned up, and um, it's going to be healthier. It's going to grow better. And when we allow God to work in our heart, uh, we, we get cleaned up. We, we grow better. And this, this was my thought today as I was um, out here pruning in the heat and uh just wanted to say these words just wanted to give this encouragement that if we're struggling with something um just let god clean it up let him clean it up through his word through belief um through the holy spirit let him, let him work in you because he wants to get he wants to do a good work in you for for his honor for his glory and if we're if we glorify him, we know one day we will be glorified as we live for him. So uh, God bless and um, just continue to seek him. You know, so sometimes it made me think of uh, sometimes we look okay on the outside. But on the inside, these uh, palm trees, underneath the green, underneath the healthy stuff, there's things going on that aren't good. Um, and that made me think of, of things that, I mean, look at all that in there. It's just, uh, it's going to get chopped down so this sago tree can once again be healthy, be green, grow the way it's supposed to grow. Um, you know, sometimes we, we look okay on the outside, and, but on the inside there's things going on. Um, things that aren't good, debris that we carry with us. So just allow... We got to allow God to work with us, um, to prune us, to uh, do the things that he desires to do with us. 
and it's for our good. And when he's glorified and honored through us as a vessel, uh, as his creation, he, he honors us. Um, and he blesses us. And so I just wanted, I just thought of this as I was as pruning this tree. It's like, wow, you know what? That's kind of how my heart's been at times. You know, I, I act like everything is okay, but underneath it's, it's not. Um, but let this just be an encouragement to you that no matter what's, what's underneath, God knows. God knows it's there and he desires to, to get rid of it, to prune it out to work his spirit in you to work the fruit of his spirit in you and it's all it's all for good it's painful it's hard but yet it's all for good don't let the enemy win don't let him have victory in your life let god the creator your creator who loves you died for you who wants good things for you um do his work in you um so anyways i just was thinking about that when i was pruning so back to work i go God bless you guys. Love you.